Hey Virtual Pilot, PMDG have released their latest update for their fleet of Boeing 737s, taking us to version 3.00.71. And this provides memory improvements and optimizations, providing an overall better experience in sim. This update also includes some improvements to the engine spool time and lays the foundation work for an imminent release of the long-awaited EFB. That's right folks, you heard me right. The PMDG electronic flight bag is in the final stages of beta testing, and whilst we don't yet have a confirmed date, this should be coming out very soon indeed. Unfortunately, this recent update process is bugged when using the PMDG Operations Center and it results in some funky looking pink textures on the plane. Whilst this can be worked around by a full clean installation of the aircraft, it's frankly a bit of a pain and it's not the first time we've seen a bugged update via the PMDG Operations Center, so it would be good to see this improved in the future. And speaking of beta testing, the team at PMDG are making rapid progress on their Boeing 777 aircraft, which is nearing its beta testing phase. This is fab news as we are short on long haul wide body aircraft in the sim. The 777 is the world's largest twin engine aircraft capable of sitting 10 abreast and is the highest selling wide body twin engine aircraft of all time. The team are validating the aircraft's performance against the real thing and making final refinements and changes. There's no doubt this will be a welcome addition to the sim, particularly given the native Navigraph integration. And now onto the world's second highest selling wide body aircraft, the Airbus A330, which has been developed by Aerosoft, and it would seem with the German government's support no less. It has come to light in a German government paper published very recently that the German government has awarded Aerosoft 459,000 euros of funding to develop not only the Airbus A330, but also the Airbus A321. That's right, folks. Why develop one aircraft when you can develop two? The German government wants these to be as accurate as possible, and it's part of its drive to improve video game development in Germany. The A330 is in a heavy testing phase, and from the graph that you can see on screen, you can see the split of the bugs the development team is currently squashing. Again, as with the 777, there is no official release date, but I would expect to see both these birds well before Christmas. That will give us two of the finest examples of wide body twins in the skies today. We have almost no information on the A321, but given the information is now widely reported in all your favorite flight sim news outlets, I would expect the developer to release something imminently. So watch this space, folks. A new free tool, you heard me right, that's free, is available from FlightSimTO, which provides the capability to match multiplayer aircraft models that you don't own or have installed. It matches them with ones that you do. At present, the sim tends to replace these aircraft with generic bonanzas, which can lead to some interesting odd graphical glitching, such as strangely hovering aircraft that are static. The process of matching the models requires you to manually configure this tool and that can be a bit labor intensive. However, once it's set up, new aircraft releases really don't take very long to set up at all. And this really does improve immersion, allowing you to pick aircraft that very closely resemble the aircraft that you're matching with. It also avoids the crazy expense that you see amongst some Twitch streamers where they buy every aircraft uh, available in the sim the tool includes good documentation on how to get everything set up and running and despite being a bit laborious the process is relatively simple to follow developer phoenix simulations have released a major update to their airbus a320 which includes a significant overhaul of the flight model as well as a reworking of the flight displays and the aircraft logic this update should also provide a boost in performance, helping you eke out every frame of performance that you can. 
This is the first of two updates with the second slated for a late September release, which will bring us updated engines, which more closely represent the real ones, as well as improved textures and visuals on the aircraft. Developer DC Designs has released the F-4 Phantom, which was a major part of the US Armed Forces jet response up until the 1990s, and it's still in use by some air forces today. Most notably, they have released a variant which is 100% compatible with the launch systems and arrestor cables on the aircraft carriers in sim, allowing for naval operations. You also get a non-naval variants of the fighter for a budget-friendly 30 euros, and they all include accurate flight models, radar, and TACAN navigation, as well as full system logic modeling. The cockpit and aircraft modeling looks top-notch as well, and if fighters is your thing, then this will be a nice addition to your air wing. The MSFS World Hub, which allows simmers to download generic autogen scenery and fix anomalies, is nearing readiness for a release. This tool allows you to move objects and to make airports more lifelike, as well as fixing some of the bizarre issues found with autogen scenery. It's then uploaded to the hub, where a member of the MSFS team will review and following its approval will be dropped out in a future update. This is a nice way for everyone to contribute to the community and the World Hub is slated for a September release alongside Sim Update 13. The world of GA aircraft is still very lively with the recent release of the Cessna 162 from developer Coxspur. This aircraft is the spiritual successor to the much-loved Cessna 152. It's a two-seat light trainer, which was sold between 2009 and 2013. This is principally designed as a VFR trainer, with a real-world version not certified for IFR flight. It swaps out the traditional yoke design for a flight stick, but it also features a nice glass display panel. It's very budget friendly at around $20 or euros and can be picked up from Coxburgh's website or in the InSim marketplace. The much anticipated PC-12 from SimWork Studios is nearing completion. The team still have some work to do on the flaps mechanics where they are facing some limitations from the Sim. They've got some minor updates to make on the avionics, and whilst the textures are nearly all done, there are a few tweaks the team want to make to give it that last bit of shine. The aircraft systems are all complete and soon to be in the hands of testers, which also includes Pilatus, the aircraft manufacturer, who the development team want to sign off the aircraft before they release it to the sim. Looking at the pictures released yesterday on SimWork Studios' Facebook page, we look like we are certainly in for a treat with the same standard of modeling the team gave us with the Kodiak 100. In previous statements, the team have commented on how they've improved FPS performance whilst maintaining visual quality, so fingers crossed we should enjoy a silky smooth frame rate performance too. The team are off on a two week summer break, which they've certainly earned, so there's no confirmed date just yet, but it does feel like this release is imminent. Now on to recently released airports. There's been quite a long list of additions. Very interestingly, we're gonna start off with Burning Blue Design, which is one of my favorite UK developers. They have released a package with all 50 of the UK VORs modeled. Other recent releases include Puerto Vallarta, the seventh busiest airport in Mexico from developer Feel There, Porta Airport, which is part of a Portuguese island chain from developer MM Simulations, Ponta Delgada Airport, also in the Portuguese island chain, but from a different developer, it's Innibuilds this time, Teesside Airport, a UK-based airport servicing the UK, Europe, and the Mediterranean from developer FlyX. Links to all of the release products are available down in the description. As always, I hope you're very well wherever in the world you are. Stay safe in the skies, and I will see you in my next one.